WTOC exclusive, two men accused of blowing up part of a Bryan County woman's home are expected to be indicted on federal charges. Georgia prosecutors making those claims in court today. Our Flynn Snyder has updates that you will see only on WTOC. Well, state prosecutors say possible federal indictments in this case could come as early as January. 33-year-old Caleb Kinsey and 36-year-old Stephen Glosser face two counts, including unlawful possession of an explosive and first-degree arson. The two are accused of causing this explosion at a Bryan County home on Demery's Lake Lane back in January. Glosser's lawyer was in Bryan County Superior Court to ask a judge for a bond hearing when a prosecutor made this claim. The feds have changed their mind. They intend to indict each of those defendants in January of next year. I asked Glosser's lawyer Lloyd Murray about the possibility of federal charges. I was getting ready to proceed here in the Superior Court, but it looks like we're going to be end up uh, in federal court. Several agencies, including the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, helped with the investigation. Prosecutors say Kinsey is still being held in Louisiana, where he was arrested. Glosser pleaded not guilty back in May and is being held at the Bryan County Detention Center, according to jail records. We talk a lot. Uh, just, you know, get, getting our discovery together and getting ready to proceed to trial. A state indictment alleges that Kinsey and Glosser transported an explosive with the intent that it would be used to intimidate Larissa Apperson. County records show Apperson was the homeowner at the time of the explosion. In a previous court hearing, an ATF investigator said Glosser and Apperson met through a dating app but their relationship deteriorated. State investigators say the cause of the house explosion was an improvised explosive device made up of a binary explosive compound. A spokesperson with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Georgia says the office does not acknowledge whether or not an investigation is taking place. And Murray says a judge has delayed that bond hearing request until November 16th. Reporting in Pembroke, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. Also some